everybody, it's Mandy from The Leather Quill Shop. I was kind of racking my brain this morning trying to think of some fun videos to film and buying online is so hard sometimes. You don't, like you're trying to get a feel for the product online but you're like reading the description and you're like, ugh. A lot of people don't understand leather thicknesses and, and what's pliable to somebody may not be pliable to another person and on and on and on and you know when it comes to leather the leather decides a lot when you are creating the product uh, I'm going to show you a couple examples that I have <laughs> behind me and when we're creating a leather product you know we have sample photos on the website but sometimes that's just a sample photo I mean we try to make them as true to color as possible and as true to uh, I'm gonna say that, as true to um True the photo, I guess. It's like the best word to say it. But just making sure that you you realize what you're getting, you know what you're getting. Sometimes we have items that like the leather's like, yeah, no, we're not gonna do that. So that's when we have a lot of like one-off items. Like right now, we're dealing with a high that is like just not pliable whatsoever. It's like it, it feels like a saddle. And you know, we're not gonna send out leather quills that are made out of like a leather like that or that's like a sassy piece of leather so you know those would be some one-off items but what I wanted to do was show you guys the items that I have in stock and show them to you in a way so you kind of get a feel for what they are and, and the colors and you know when you get your leather quill what you can expect um, sometimes like and I'll show you guys some examples with leathers that, ha that leather that has character that you know normally if we have a piece that has like when we're dying and it has like a scar or something we'll send you an email and be like hey you know we were dying your your leather quilt it has a little scar on it you know and, and I'll send you a picture and be like is this okay sometimes when the scars are little it's just a characteristic of the leather but we do try to be conscientious to you know your expectations so I thought I would go through the items that I have in stock which are right back there and uh, it's like 900 degrees in New Mexico right now I'm dying so I thought it would be fun to go through the items that I have in stock so I can kind of show you guys, give you guys some ideas on, because our texture is something that is very, I don't want to say exclusive to our shop, but it's very, like, when people think of the leather quilt shop, they think of, like, the textured notebooks. And I wanted to show you guys some of those, and then sometimes we have leather that just will not texture. It's like, no, I want to be flat, which is okay. But I want to show you guys some, some of the stuff that we have in stock, and, like, what causes certain things, and just... Just kind of chit chat about leather because I've learned a lot <laughs> about leather since starting our shop. So the first thing that we have is if you go to our website, you see that we have a plethora of traveler's notebooks available that we uh, lovingly call leather quills. We have, I think, 16 colors now. We have one of a kind pieces. We have pieces that you can order and you can customize yourself. When you go to our shop, I mean, you see the add-on section, you see the charms, you see strap closures and things like that. And one thing that we're adding on is we're always adding customizing options because we want you guys to be able to build your notebook. Now, when you're thinking about a notebook and you're trying to decide on options, if you're not sure how it would look, always look at our gallery page because I update that gallery page like every other day. I do plan on making some changes to it just so it's a little bit easier to go through. But when you're looking at the gallery page, you're going to get a lot of ideas and you're going to get a lot of inspiration. So. If you see something and it's not on the site, which happens because we don't list like every single possible option just because we don't want to overwhelm people and you know we're still working on it. We're still getting started. So email us, leatherquillshop at gmail.com. We don't have a leather quill shop at leatherquillshop.com yet. I mean we do, but let's be honest, Gmail is like super easy. So and I like easy. But just shoot me an email and be like, hey, Manny Jean, you know, this is what I'm thinking about. Give me a day or two to respond because I do get a lot of emails every day. It's not, you know, me being a, a jerk or anything. But, you know, I want to make sure that when I respond to you, it's very personalized. And I'm not the type of person that's going to send you a blanket email and say, these are the steps to order your leather quill. And you'd be like, that's not at all what I asked. But, hey, thanks. That's not how we do it. So give me a day or two. Let me get back to you. Um, last week. I was just, it was, it was a really busy week for us. So that's the best way if you want something that's very custom. And I'll kind of show you guys what I mean by very custom. And then what you guys can run on the site. All the colors, when they die, they can come out a little bit different. So consistent colors are like Mandy Jean, 
um, soot, which is black, um, a lot of the browns and things like that. Those are pretty consistent, but the ones, the colors that are like chartreuse, bumblebee, turquoise trail, navy's pretty consistent. Um, hmm. Wild West can sometimes really show the patina in the leather. Those can sometimes be a little, like a shade or two darker or a shade or two lighter, just depends on the leather. And, you know, that's something that we do say is that, you know, there is a variation of leather, meaning the color. So, I want to show you guys some of the notebooks that I have so you guys can kind of see that and understand that it's not... It's not that you're getting something that's different than the picture, it's just leather plays such a big role in it. And, and also think about it, this could be a little morbid. <laughs> I could I could turn a, a few people off of leather here, but leather was skin. So think about your skin. You moisturize it, you tan it, well, you, you could tan it. Uh, in my case, I sunburn the hell out of it, but... Uh, Skin is just that. Every everything is is different when it comes to leather. You know, some cattle, depending on where they're raised, they could have a enormous amount of bug bites on them. Some cattle have gorgeous brands because of where they come from. It just depends on the piece. So, you know, we never send out things with holes and, and stuff like that, obviously, because that's just let's if we had something that had something like that, it would be a one of a kind item. But when we're dyeing leather. We have no way of knowing what it's going to be when we're dyeing it. Because when we dye it, everything looks the same. Everything's like, oh, that's a beautiful turquoise color. And then, like, one will be, like, a deep turquoise. It's just, like, you know, my, like my turquoise one that I'm going to show you in a minute. And the other one will be, like, a lighter turquoise. It's just how the leather dyes. So I thought you guys would find that kind of interesting, too. So let me show you guys some of the binders, or some of the leather quills, so we can get rolling. Because I've already rambled on for ten minutes now. This one option that we have is we can do two-tone leather quills. The reason why they're not listed on the website is because they all come with a little, a little disclaimer. And the disclaimer is sometimes the edges are not perfect. And, you know, we're not going to send anything out with like a giant splotch on the front or something like that. But like on this one, you'll see at the top, it isn't... Let me try it like this. Maybe it'll pick up better. It's not exactly perfect. Um, and the, the reason being is I dyed this one. <laughs> but <laughs> Brett, when he dyes them, he does, he does a better job. Me, I'm like, oh, I'm not very good at this. <laughs> so, but when he dyes them, he does a really good job. And normally, you know, we do a really good job. But sometimes, like, on the edges, the colors do mix. And we would never want to sell somebody a product that when they get it, they're like... This is not going to fit with my OCD. Totally get it. Which is why we disclose it. So, if you're okay with that, that, you know, the edges could mix a little bit, all you have to do is send us an email and say, Hey, Mandy Jean, I want a wrap leather quill with Mandy Jean on the outside, black on the inside. A-okay with a little dye mixing. So you gotta do. And then we'll do a custom listing for you. We do charge $9.99 for that because it is it takes a significant amount of more time. Um because you know, you have to be you have to be a little bit more careful. So normally when we do our wraps, they are like this. Um, they're normally kind of about in the middle. This one is more of a true trifold. Essentially, we just wanted to try out the style and see how we liked it. So we just did this one, and you guys apparently liked it because it sold within a few minutes of me posting it, which I greatly appreciate. So this is the color Mandy G. Mandy G is, is kind of a hot pink. Um, you can see the texture on the leather. I'm hoping my camera picks it up. Our leather clothes are made from a 9 to 10 ounce leather, sometimes 8 depending on how thick of the hide is, but we, we shoot for 9 to 10. So our leather is super duper duper thick, but it is also super duper duper pliable to a point. Let's get your leather quills and I'll show you this navy one here in a minute. There's a good possibility it could be a little stiff when you get it. Reason being, we use a eco-friendly uh, water-based dye. And, you know, when you're putting water on hide, it can make it a little bit more stiff. What you do is when you get it, you just lay it out and you just give her a roll and she will just soften right up. 
and then you can use leather conditioners on them um, it's not going to hurt them at all it can alter the color a little bit leather conditioners can make leather a little bit darker but for the most part I mean you'll be okay so again the the actual full trifolds are not listed on our website yet these will probably be a one-of-a-kind item meaning we make them when we can if you like this style where it's a full trifold um, and you want one send me an email and I'll just do a custom listing for you and uh, just let me know the color you want so one section on our site that we have is a little section that that is called uh, quick ship and quick ship is items that we have in stock we're gonna bang it out so then it would be like a day wait time versus seven to ten days so and we also list one-of-a-kind items in there that have a little bit of character patina or you know if I'm making an apple pocket might as well make two more and then I'll put them up there so then people don't have to wait as long when you go to our site always check the quick ship section okay you guys don't even know how many times I had to like record that for you to say it and you'll see like everything that we actually like physically have in stock that can be shipped out really quick this guy um, I actually decided to keep him and I'll tell you why the reason being is because he has a bunch of scars on him which you can see here they're not cracks um, they're actual scars in the leather and this is gonna be like a little bit one I just I loved this color it's navy and I loved how it's a little bit stiffer because I like my notebook stiffer so I actually decided to keep him because I love things with patina and things with character this is a great color for somebody who wants a color but doesn't want something light because they're afraid of it getting dirty navy is a beautiful option check that out and navy actually comes with black bands we have a section on our add-on section we have a section on our add-on section that you can choose your color elastic so Brett just put sky blue on this guy for me now this is a prime example of when leather does what it wants to do these are all turquoise trail and see the shade variations this is a whoopsie this is a pocket this is a b6 and this is a wrap leather quill this has a beautiful like turquoise color um, almost like a teal where this has more of like a turquoise stone color and then this guy looks like he has a little bit more green this is what can happen sometimes with leather 99% of the time we get them to they look like this to this beautiful bright turquoise but sometimes they do turn out like this guy who's just a little bit more muted he's beautiful though and then we have like these little guys too that <laughs> they're he's like a mix of the in-between he picked up a little bit more green could also be the yellow pouring too it's changing the color a little bit these two are up on the site still for sale in the, the quick ship section but um, again you guys have seen this guy before a lot but down here you'll see like a lot of little marks those are actual bug bites and they just have like a lot of character in the leather and if you like a really rustic look turquoise trail is definitely a color that you would probably like a lot and when you get them they feel like they're gonna protect your notebooks um, they don't feel floppy I mean I'm holding this guy by the by the edge and he's not bending so they don't feel floppy they feel like a significant book this one's mine <laughs> I feel like I'm going to say that a lot, a lot in this video. This one is mine. <laughs> this is an A5 leather quill without a wrap in the color apples. And I had this one em embossed by Brett <laughs> because, you know, I love ferrets. But it's just a beautiful, like, candied red color. And again, you can see the texture in the leather, but this one isn't overly textured. The funny thing is, is I, <laughs> we will get people that ask us about texture and um, we try our best to oblige because that's just how we do things. But sometimes the leather's just like, no, we're not going to do that. So we do try to put texture in the pieces. Um, the only thing we won't do is if you request not to have them rolled, we won't do that because that's our way of kind of quality checking the leather um, that we roll them ourselves. So that's the only, that's where we draw the line that um, we will not not roll them because that's our way of making sure the leather's good that it's pliable that it's dyed all the way through um we're very 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 
proud of our work and we're very proud of the products that we release. So when we're doing things like this, we just make sure that they are good to go. The next color I have is one that is actually sold to my grandmother. This is in the color Wild West. This is beautiful like saddle tan color. This guy is a one of a kind because he has a little processing number here. And we include things like that. Um, we wouldn't sell them to a customer without them knowing that that's included, but we think they're cool. So we'll do them as like one of a kind. The inside is very, very smooth. The outside has beautiful texture on it. And he is in the pocket size. Our pocket sizes are sized to fit three field note size books with a little bit of like leeway and give. Now this guy is in the color Bordeaux and he is he's the color of booze <laughs> but he's a pot or he's a uh, personal size. Bordeaux is a beautiful reddish brown reminds me of wine. Um, shows patina on leather awesome. Um, when it comes to embossing and branding though it's a little harder to see that. So this is the inside and then the back and you can kind of see, I mean this one's a little stiffer because like I said he's been hanging out on my shelf but when you get him you can just give him a roll. This is like a crappy roll but just give him a roll and he will loosen right up. He's actually available too still so he's looking for a good home. Um, his requests are that you use personal size inserts and Anything that is on our quick ship items list, by the way, you can add a pen loop to. You just need to purchase the pen, the pen loop, um, which is in the add-on section. But when we do, when we add a pen loop, we ask for three extra days so we can dye the pen loop and rivet it on. Aside from the normal leather quills, we also have a series called the Adventure Series. And the Adventure Series is an oil dye leather that is very soft, very pliable, not floppy, Per se, but it definitely has floppier characteristics. This is my Lewis. Um, this feels just like butter in the hands. The inside is, let me get this out of here, is very, very, very soft. Right now we have them in one color. We do have another color coming up, but this would tend to satisfy the folks who want a very soft leather quill that will still protect the books but still be very pliable. So this is the Adventure Series Lewis. I don't have a birthday suit leather quill to show you guys so I'm going to show you a birthday suit binder that we have. We also make three ring and six ring binders and in the six ring versions we have silver and copper ring options. But this is the color birthday suit. Birthday suit is a nude leather color and this is actually my shop planner. Birthday suit is definitely our softest leather um, because we're using the natural hide. Now, birthday suit can range from a little bit of a yellow pink to a peachy pink to a nude pink. It just depends on the hide. For this guy, but this guy also has started to patina. So you can see kind of how he's wearing a little bit. Because I've had him about a year. Now, the last color to sh that I have to show you guys is one of our more popular colors, and it is Bumblebee. Bumblebee is like a golden jewel tone yellow that shows patina amazing. Bumblebee, like the edges naturally distress themselves. I don't know what it is about this color, but that's what happens. And it's just, it's a beautiful notebook. It's a beautiful color. This is actually my Bumblebee. I, I'm never a yellow person, but I love this yellow. You see the texture on it too. So that, my friends, is some of the color options we have, some of the texture options. You know, when you're buying a leather quill, you're buying something that is artisan made. You're buying something that is made with somebody's hands. We try to make them as perfect as possible. We try to accommodate, you know, every whim that you guys may have with things. Normally we do. Sometimes if it's something that we can't do, we'll just tell you, you know, hey, we can't do that. But... <laughs> Like brown elastic. Who knew brown elastic would be so hard to find? But what we do is we just try to make sure that everything has that artisan feel to it. We don't want them to have that crafty feel. We want them to have that artisan made 
feel where you know that this product is very well made. All of them are made with love. All of them are made by me and Brett. All of them are shipped normally by me. And they're little labors of love. I'm like looking at them now like they're my little babies. They're little labors of love. So if you guys have any questions about our notebooks or anything like that, leave them below. We'll gladly get back to you guys. If you um, have ideas for custom option notebooks, leave them below because I will get back to you guys and we will, or send me an email actually is probably the best way to do that. Uh, and we'll get back to you guys and we will um, get them started and get them worked on because that's the cool thing about leather clothes is we have a lot of options because you're actually working with the artisan. Something else that we have coming up that I want to get people started on now is holidays. Holidays, holidays, holidays. I would highly, highly, highly recommend that if you're thinking about some leather clothes for holiday presents, you get your orders in sooner the better. Because our cutoff time for for sure holiday deliveries, uh, we're thinking maybe the first week of December because we will not be responsible for people's holiday presents not arriving on time. That would break our heart. So if it's something you're thinking about and you want something that's going to be like maybe for your husband or maybe for your mom or your aunt or your cousin or your planner bestie, start thinking about that stuff now so we can make sure that we get them in line. Um, that's something that's really big and we're going to be releasing some fountain pens. We're going to have a lot of growth in the shop in the next couple months. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit more of the colors. If you guys like this type of video where I'm showing you more of the products and I'm talking to them where you guys can actually like physically see them and see how the light reflects off of them and you know how they bend and things like that, let me know. I'll gladly film more of these. But it was just like I had a, a few different colors and variations and things like that that I thought it would be a cool video to do. So if you like this video, I'll keep doing them. So I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.